election, but in a way that is done securely. Conservatives don't, it, it's an old saying that I would always hear on my council days of, you know, they don't want to be confused with the truth. And the truth is, you have to handle national security with the security that it deserves. And conservatives playing partisan games with it time and time again, for what? For what? Because they want to bring some staffers in here. For what? What's the end goal? To make national security stronger, our democratic institutions stronger? Why? You don't, they don't seem to care about how secure documents are being handled. They don't care to know the precautions that are taken through NSACOP. They don't care to know that it is actually a well-regarded, um, by international partners actually, the reports have, been, have received accolades from around the world for their work. They don't care that there are recommendations tabled on a regular basis. And they certainly don't care that it was NSACOP's 2019 report tabled in the House of Commons that actually raised foreign interference years ago and the seriousness of it. Because it seems the Conservatives never bothered to read those reports. So if they close their eyes, cover their ears, then they think it doesn't exist. But the fact is, the members on NSACOP do an incredible amount of work. Mm -hmm. The Secretariat is incredibly professional, nonpartisan. You have representatives from all parties, from the Senate, and this suggestion I take very personally because of my experience on NSACOP, the suggestion that it's some secret committee controlled by PMO is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it is insulting to the hours and hours and hours worth of work that that committee and that secretariat does. Mm -hmm. And they do so in a way that is so professional with to provide the information so the committee can make legitimate uh, reports Minister, and recommendations. Of instructed this committee and then yesterday announced that instead of transparency and sunlight, uh, that all of this would be put before a secret committee with secret evidence and secret conclusions all redacted by the PMO, all part of this Prime Minister's efforts to cover up what he knows and what he failed to do about Beijing's interference. And so uh, it underscores why we need to hear from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, uh, Katie Telford. And uh, with that, I hope that the fourth time, the fourth time we've attempted to get Katie Telford to committee, uh, that we'll be successful today in doing so. Canadians deserve answers, and part of getting those answers is to have Katie Telford appear before this committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Mrs. Blaney. Oh. Well, thank you, um, Madam Chair, and be back in the committee. I, I apologize for missing some of last week, uh, but my constituents in some of my more remote communities really appreciate the time that I had with them, and uh, I just want to thank them for always having time for me. Um, so I do have an amendment, and I'll get that sent to the clerk, but before I talk about the amendment, I just want to say, you know, my history in this committee is I resist heavily having staff come in when they are not the people that make the final decision. Sadly, what we have seen in this country is a continuous leak from CSIS that tells us that there's something serious that we need to be concerned with. And after that many leaks, I am persuaded that we now have to take a step that I am not necessarily initially comfortable with uh, because it is imperative. People in this country trust their systems. And whenever there is questions to those systems, we need to address those and make sure that those systems are stronger as a result of the work that we do here. Now, the NDP, of course, brought forward the motion that everybody uh, mostly agreed with around the public inquiry. We feel very much that this needs to be done in a setting that is public, where, as my colleague Mr. Cooper talked about earlier, that there would be an element of transparency and sunlight shown on this issue. If we are going to ask Canadians to trust their elections, then we must be held to that account. Um, so 
My, hopefully it's seen as a, a friendly amendment to the motion. Uh, has it been sent out yet? I want to I'm just going sure to pause I you, Mrs. Blaney. Absolutely. You have the floor and the floor will be returned to you. I understand we've received it. And have we hit send? We're just going to hit send to all members. And we have two members who are um, replacing regular members. So just to make sense.